right, we got a boa litter. Well, I knew this was gonna happen. Here's the other sister. What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. And I got news for you. We have some surprises in the snake room today. Some pleasant surprises on the boa front and the ball python front. You guys are going to love this one. Don't miss it. Stay tuned. All right, we got a boa litter. One of our super dwarfs. This was a onyx female that is het for Honduran T positive, het for blood. And also het for Annery 2. We bred it to a hypo super onyx. So we're going to have a lot of onyx stuff. Probably a lot of super onyx stuff. 50% of them will be super. And it's also possible het Honduran T positive. I think we hit the Honduran T positive because I think I see a few Honduran T positives in there. There's one dead there. But uh, this litter might have been here for a couple days. This These... Uh, these females are a little protective over there, young. The Colombians don't seem to be as protective. This girl's coming right after me, and she's probably hungry too, but I do not want to get bit by, by this, this girl. She's a very sweet girl normally, but she's protecting these babies, so we're going to have to, like, kind of shield it. Let's see. We'll pull this thing away. Just look at that cool baby. That's definitely hypo Honduran T positive right there. That's, that's one copy of Onyx. So we missed the Super Onyx on this one. Um, this one, unfortunately, is dead, but it looked like it was a, uh, a little deformed, too. It looks like it was it was a super onyx, Honduran T-positive hypo. And I see a bunch of super onyxes over here. Let's see if we can pull these out here. Look at that. That's a super onyx. I don't think it's got any other genes in it. It's really dark. If you look, they're really, really, really dark when they're, when they have no hypo, no anything else. This actually looks almost like an anery super onyx, which is possible because these, there was some, some anery two possibilities in this. I know this, this female's had anery two, so we could have gotten some, because this is, this is more typical of a super onyx right here with the reds in it. This one's really like, has no reds whatsoever. That's why I'm thinking maybe this one's got anery in it. Whoop, she's got out of her little hide box. I had her sneakily covered with we probably got to get her out of here because we're not going to be able to pull these babies otherwise we'll have to put her in another tub and uh we'll take a look at the rest of the babies all right so we here's our babies we got these look like honduran t positive sun glows that are onyx single copy onyx those are we got a bunch of super onyxes i think we got a super i think we got a super onyx annery too and this one's kind of really nice too. That's a that's a regular onyx. I think that might be this might be a hypo onyx. Um, but we got a bunch of really nice stuff here. We did miss the super onyx Honduran T positive hypo. That would have been or the sun glow super onyx would have been really nice. But um, we'll let these guys shed out, and I'm sure they're gonna look really amazing once they have their first shed. Well, I knew this was gonna happen. Here's the other sister. She, uh, they were, they were absolutely the same. I got these from Freak Nut in 2015, and they were about nine years old. And this girl just produced a litter, and her sister produced a litter. So I opened up the tub, and look what we had more babies. These are a lot smaller than the other ones, and for some reason, it doesn't look like we hit too many good odds here, but we have a bunch of onyxes and super onyxes here. So that one looks a little lighter. Interesting. All right. We'll put these in the tub. We'll check them out. We'll have to wait till they shed out. So we had two Onyx litters on the same exact day. Amazing. All right. We looked at two litters we just got. I didn't, well, I expected to get them. I just didn't know they were going to both come on the same day. Now we have an, this is a Colombian bow. Those were the super dwarf bows we saw. This is, she's kind of on the smaller side though. She's a IMG, increasing melanistic gene. You would never know it, but she's albino also, and she's hypo, so she's a sharp sun glow IMG that we bred to a labby fire, head VPIT positive. Been waiting for her to have a litter of boas. I hope she goes. She's, you know, she's been going back and forth from the hot side to the cool side, so. I'm not necessarily positive that she, but she feels like she's got some babies in there. So, um, and she's a little on the smaller side. So we're just waiting to see what comes out. Hopefully we get 
some really nice babies from her. Just, we really slow grew her for many years now, and she's uh, she's one of my favorites. So hopefully we get something really cool. All right, and then uh, we'll just end today with our little fire super fire diamonds, our two male and female we got down there. They've been in here for a couple of years. This really cool naturalistic enclosure. You guys have seen her them before. I think they're in a shed, both of them. But they they like each other. They're hanging out down there. Sometimes they're in the trees, sometimes they're on the floor, in the ground, and they kind of go where they want, and that's what's so cool about this naturalistic enclosure. They can kind of thermoregulate, they can go in the light, they can get out of the light, and I think when they shed, I noticed they seem to hide a little bit more until they, probably it's a, probably some sort of natural instinct that from predators, you know, when you're in the shed cycle, you don't want to really be around, you can't see as well, so you hide yourself in a place where, you know, you, you won't get eaten. And then once the shed comes off, then you can come out and start hunting again for food. So there they are, super fire diamonds. All right, you're looking at a banana hurricane blade clown. One of the most beautiful combinations, I think, clown combinations. Banana and hurricane and clown work really well together. This little boy I produced here a couple years ago, and he is just become a father. I didn't even realize this female was gravid, but she was. And we're gonna look at her in a second. We're gonna get him out of here because he's done his job. And then we're gonna look at the female. I love this boy. This this boy we slow grew. And he was spectacular. Good job. Daddy. Banana. Hurricane. Blade. Clown. All right, there's our mama. She is a Mojave leopard. She's possibly blade. I don't know. I'm not really sure about the blade aspect of it, but definitely Mojave leopard heck clown. And she's looking really beautiful. And she's sitting on a nice clutch of eggs. This is her first clutch she's ever had. And it looks like she's got six. Oh, that's about seven good eggs there. So we're going to get her off of these eggs. We're going to collect these. Hopefully we're going to hit, according to the odds, we should hit 50% heck clowns or 50% clowns and 50% heck clowns. So we can produce some nice stuff here. You know, we're going to get banana in there, hopefully. We're going to get the hurricane in here. We're going to get more banana hurricane clowns. Hopefully we'll get leopard in there as well. Uh, I think this is going to be a really, really nice clutch. And some nice babies out of this in 60 days. All right. We got seven good eggs here. They're nice and plump. They look great. I'm not going to separate them. I, I had to separate this one off the top because it was stuck. And I did it really gently, and it's still... We got a little perforation in the egg. So I, I think it was either this one, I think in the top and the bottom, we had a little perforation. So what we did, we put scotch tape on it. It's a good trick for you guys. If you ever, by accident, tear an egg and you have a little hole and some of the, uh, the egg white part of it is coming out, obviously if that dries out, if you don't take care of that, it's gonna dry out and you'll lose the egg. But a very simple trick is to put some scotch tape on it I mean, literally, scotch tape. Take a nice piece, cover it up, cover the hole up. It'll dry out. It'll seal up, and you'll be fine. And I, I've done it multiple, multiple times and never had a problem with the eggs going to fulfillment and hatching out normally. So uh, that's a little trick. If you ever have it happen, don't panic and think you screwed up. We all screw up a little bit. Sometimes, look, this, this egg box would have been too high. I never would have put a top on it if this egg was still up here. So I had to pull it off. And sometimes it just they just glue to each other too well. So it looks good. We're going to put this in the incubator. 60 days. We're going to see what we got. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. We got some thunder in the background here in Cape Coral, Florida. It's going to be raining for a, a, like a 10th day in a row. But that's what happens here in the summer. We get all the rain. So all the beautiful grass and trees will grow really nicely here and uh it'll be beautiful uh come into the summer but we had some beautiful boa litters two sisters imagine that they're born the same day they give birth on the same day two beautiful onyx litters we got some gorgeous super onyxes they're going to be going up for sale so if you guys want some super onyxes we're gonna have some really good price on them i'll show you those as they shed out and they're just spectacular. They're so dark. They're almost like IMGs, but they're small. They're super dwarf boas. They do not get big, these guys. And uh, 
I think that's the future of boa breeding. I really do. I've been saying it for a couple last couple of years now. I love my dwarf boas. And we had a very nice ball python clutch as well. So that went to the incubator, seven beautiful eggs. And uh, in 60 days, we'll see what we got from those. So it was a good week here at the facility. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you do, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, hit that like button. We'll see you back next week.